In today's video, I'm sharing 10 super cute and easy hairstyles that you can wear to gym class. Literally all of these hairstyles take no time at all. So let's get started with hairstyle number one. Of course, anytime I need to get my hair out of my face as quickly as possible, I'm gonna do a messy bun. That's why you guys see this hairstyle in so many of my videos. It's my staple, it's my go-to. It never lets me down and I love it. Maybe wearing a bun on the top of your head isn't your style, not to worry. Hairstyle number two, we're doing the low bun. I love that all of these hairstyles, you don't need a brush. You can just use your fingers and just finger comb through your hair. So gather your hair behind your head and begin to twist your hair around to create your bun and just secure it with an elastic. I like this version because your layers and bangs will fall out, which gives it a very soft and feminine look. This is another no-brainer, especially for gym class, but it's the classic ponytail. You can wear this ponytail high or low. I like going somewhere in the middle like this. And that's basically it for this hairstyle. Let's try a different variation to the ponytail, shall we? For hairstyle number four, we're doing a ponytail braid. This was a super popular hairstyle when I played soccer and softball. I remember all the girls rocking this hairstyle and it's probably because it's so easy to do. No French braiding or complicated stuff like that, just a basic ponytail, then a simple three strand braid after that. Sometimes you just want to switch things up with your hair when you're working out, so I like doing this twisted back ponytail. Start by twisting your hair, then pin it behind your head. Now repeat this on the next side, and once you have that done, gather the rest of your hair into a ponytail, and you can go ahead and remove the bobby pins, and that is it for this hairstyle. Hairstyle number six reminds me of something I'd see a lot of the cheerleaders wear back in high school. Start by sectioning off the front part of your hair and create a Dutch braid. As you braid and pick up more hair to each section, be sure your middle strand goes over the outside strands. And if you'd like a detailed video on how to create a Dutch braid, be sure to click the link in the cards. Once you're finished braiding, just clip it with a bobby pin for the moment and gather all your hair into a ponytail. You can remove the bobby pin now and just secure your hair with a hair tie. I always tug a little at my ponytail to give it a little more volume and that's it for this hairstyle. Another one I would see a lot back when I was in high school is the French braid ponytail. Grab a section of hair at the top of your head like this and divide it into three and begin creating your French braid. This is different from a Dutch braid because instead of the middle strand going over the outside, this time the middle strand is going under the outside sections. I also created a detailed video on how to create a French braid, so if you'd like to learn how, then be sure to click the link in the cards. Once you've braided back about halfway on your head, go ahead and stop and just gather all your hair into a ponytail. Lots of different ponytail variations in this video, as you can tell. Hairstyle number eight is one of my go-tos for when I don't feel like fussing too much with my hair and I don't have a mirror. This is the messy side braid. I start with a Dutch braid a little bit behind my head and then bring it all forward and create a regular three strand braid. It always looks different every time I do it because I just like that effortless, messy kind of look. And this one I created in the video looks a little more polished than usual, but typically mine are a lot messier than this one. Another ponytail variation, what should we call this one? The loop-de-loop? -loop? For this one, just gather your hair into a low ponytail and after you have secured your hair with a hair tie, drag the hair elastic an inch down and use your fingers to create a little pocket above your hair tie. Now we're gonna tuck the hair into this hole and pull it through and ta-da! A new look and feel to a regular low ponytail. Lastly, for hairstyle 10, we're doing a bubble ponytail. This is a perfect hairstyle if you have many layers in your hair and your hair keeps falling out whenever you do a regular ponytail. You'll need smaller elastics for this hairstyle, but all you do is gather small sections of hair and tie them into a ponytail. To create the little bubbles to this hairstyle, just gently pull apart the hair that is tied between each section. Continue this along the rest of your hair and you can stop once you reach the nape of your neck or you can go all the way and have this bubble ponytail go to the end of your hair, whichever you like best. I'm giving you guys options. 
And that is it for all 10 of these super quick and easy hairstyles that you can wear during gym class. Let me know your favorite in the comments below. And if you rock any of these in PE or at the gym, be sure to snap a picture and tag me in it so I can like and comment on your photos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more hair tutorials and I'll see you guys next time.